I just call it how I see it. I'm a little rough around the edges sometimes. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. I feel like it's been a little while. But we are gloving up. We got a little mail day and a boombox. Platinum hockey. Let's see if we can get a random hit. I don't know what this month's is, but I have a, oh, little special twinning collectibles package. If you don't follow them on Instagram or YouTube, they are quite the channel. Check them out. I gave them a five star. I haven't even opened their package yet. I forgot what I won. They did this uh, Plinko thing and I just kept going five hole with three and I ended up with an auto and something else. Let's see. This person sent me on eBay some free bases to get out of their house. That was very nice of them. I appreciate that. It's not like I need any more. I just have one of my army foot lockers full of them. And that's just series one and two and extended. So I appreciate it. Thanks for the freebies. That's cool. But I ended up selling his young gun before he got traded to the Bruins. And I was very upset that I gave away his young gun because I think he might have a role this year. And I found this for a very nice price. Ultimate rookies. Hard signed, autoed, Linus Elmark. Now a Boston Bruin. And if you look at the statistics on a not so great defensive team and not being in the best positions, he's actually excelled. His numbers are there. So, I mean, I just grabbed this for the PC just to have. Little Rook, hard sign. Ultimate Collections, beautiful. Um, we all know that. And then we have, I don't know what this is. I think it's from the Plinko. Twinning Cities. I mean, Twinning Collectibles, sorry, my bad. Twinning Collectibles. I prefer the other twin. I have never met them. I need to get, I need to get these scissors, but I'm only kidding. I like both twins. Good people, good people to deal with. Great in the hobby. We have some fun. All right, let's see what we got here. And from Twinning Collectibles. A little tape job here with the paper. It's a little tape job. Dude, you gotta save your paper. I'm not even worth it. Come on. You gotta save it for good clients. I forget what I won. I honestly forget what I won. I just like to support other people. Like, you, they were doing something in their channel for their giveaway, and then they were doing this other stuff, and I just said, I'm just going to send it. I don't really care. I think I confused them a little bit when they were like, well, what slot do you want? I was like, five hole. And they were like, yeah, but what slot? Five hole. But there was actually a five hole slot. Um, and we have... It looks like uh, oh, th there's stuff, I guess. I got rookies. I honestly, I do not remember this, like what I got. I know there's an auto in there, and I remember the shadow box. I think that's Bowen Byram, so that's not a bad little pull. So we've got from Twinning. This is what I won. I paid 15 US and ended up with Bowen Byram Shadow Box to add to my Bowen Byram unintentional PC that I keep trying to sell. And this was my auto out of SP game used. Thomas Tata. What year? 16, 17. It was a good year. Nice little blue variant on there. And we have 
Anthony Mantha, Stature. I love Stature cards. They are just... They're so underappreciated, and there's not many people that are out there looking for them. There are, like, really hardcore collectors of Stature, but and Ultimate Collection, but, like, I don't know. These are such gorgeous cards. Just the gold etching in them, the foil, and they actually do a good job on quality control. And Philip Forsberg's rookie card. Totally certified. I actually have his, um, I got, I found at a card show his Prism Silver Paralleled, or Rainbow, whatever it is, from Panini, his rookie card, and it looked mint. So I ended up, like, spending the time. I got into it, and I, I spent the time to get it graded, and it just missed a 10. It was two 10s and two 9.5s. They don't round up. So I ended up with a... 9.5 crown mint you thought you were gonna get it didn't you I'm not giving you my address come on I'm actually contemplating getting a PO box because there's a lot of stuff coming in here from oh it's upside down there's a lot of stuff coming in here just from I mean from Instagram or other, other social media networks, so I'm not quite sure if I want to continue to have my home address listed. Oh, peanuts. They always have the peanuts in here. So you get um, premium packs, higher end sets. I do not know the list this year. I mean, this month, they do it monthly. Um, let's see what it is. So. We are looking at September's Platinum Hockey Box 2021 SPX, 2021 Artifacts, 1819 Ice. Yeah, we've seen how good I have been with uh, 1819 Ice. 2019-20 um, SP Authentic, 2018-19 SP Authentic, and 1920 Allure. You can get random packs added in there so it's not just gonna be those one two three four five six there might be extra packs in there we'll find out once we clear these peanuts here yeah. get your peanuts here yeah. I actually received the package from Europe it looked like it got punted but everything was intact thank God and we have few peanuts if you'd like I'll mail one out to you um, it's out of five whole Frank's collection peanuts get your peanuts here um, yeah I can't believe that thing was still intact you always get nice little nice little one touch so we got a 55 point 35 last time there's our SPX Artifacts, 2021. I mean, oh, this one's thick. Uh, it's a decoy. Oh, we ended up with an 2019-20 OPG Platinum as a bonus. 1819 Ice is thick. You know I'm saving SPA for the end. Allure, eh. I'd probably do, let's see, that, we'll do that and hope Kale McCarr comes back to me, how does that sound, let's see if we can give you a better angle of it, and there we go, that's the order I'm choosing, ooh, do I want to do 18, no, don't change anything, you've already picked it. Okay, so 
We'll go. I love 18. Nine, I mean, I love OPG Platinum. Um, I'm going to do 1819 Ice just because I've already broken it a ton on this channel. Like, like my last two videos were it, and they were not that good. And we've got a decoy. I have actually pulled something very nice out of a boom box. It was a retro Quinn Hughes. Exquisite rookie auto. And we have Mark Shifley. Sub Zero. Nothing special about that. It's just that Sub Zero. Got a green Miko Rantanen. Allure. I have not dabbled with this for a little while. I did have a little run of it. Um, it's okay. Um, some people like it, some people don't. Sometimes, like, some of the faces on the players looked all, like, weird and jacked up to me. I don't know. But, I mean, there's autos and hits in there, and people like autos, so... Why not buy it, right? Starting off with a Terry Panarin. Oliver Ekman Larson. We have Texier. Dante Fabrio and Fabrio. And if you notice the rookie, this siding is a short print and John Gibson in a white die cut rainbow. And Seth Jones. So if you look the numbers high on there, it doesn't tell you. Usually Allure will tell you white rainbow. But these rookies that don't have the lines there or are in a parallel, that's a short print. So that's a short print rook. And that's a nice Johnny Gibson. I believe I already own it though. Um, Johnny Gibson, white rainbow. No auto, unfortunately. And I, I miss you, OPG Platinum. If you weren't so expensive. I would, I would just buy and break because I love OPG Platinum. Doesn't have much resale value, unfortunately, but it's such a good rip, and the cards is made with such quality. You have to get like a really big hit and have it paralleled, maybe in like a greenhounds tooth or orange checkerboards. But that's neither here nor there. These cards are gorgeous. The Sheen, you can almost see me. Um, we got Nikita Zaisev. Mitchell Marner in a rainbow. Eric Carlson. And Jamie Benn. If you see, the Mitchell Marner does say... I have it upside down, so I won't even... I'll actually do it right. So these also, like Allure, will tell you your rainbow parallel. This is just a base, Nikita Gusev, rookie. I do have some mass listings coming out. Um, OPG Platinum is on the list. I'm, I'm going to sleeve that just because it's rainbowed. And I mean, you never know if you get a Leafs fan. Alright, on to artifacts. I mean, I think my best odds are SPX. I mean, it's a 1 in 4. But after one of my last SPX breaks, I said I will never invest in that hobby box again. Just due to the fact that the whole box contained bases, but different variants. And in Artifacts, it looks like we are getting the old de I, um, decoy. I don't, rip, I don't rip Artifacts much. But when I do, it's usually out of these, or random target packs. And we have Tyler Bertuzzi, Andreas Athanasiu, and a rookie green Morgan Geeky. Why are you sticking to me out of 99? That's a nice one. We'll sleeve you. We'll give you the old sleeve. And Gustav Nyquist. 
I I think in the last boombox I got a I think it was a gold SP X finite. Um serial numbered two I don't I don't even know it was a low number, but Morgan Geeky. Um that was out of SPX from the last boombox with like that gold, the gold relic or spectrum, I forget which one it was, but is that of SPX? Not like the little, tiny little baby ones that are in um, extended series, but. Yep, little green, parallel, out of 99. Not his jersey number, I got 70. I like the boom box just because it makes you like change up, do something different. It might actually attract you to maybe get involved in these other sets and series. And that's why I do a lot of ripping and breaking is because I like to, people to see content and maybe get into an older set or find a different box other than the same old series one and series two. Sometimes it's nice, we got a thick boy Sometimes it's nice to go outside the box, if you will, and find yourself a nice different box. It looks like we have a shadow box, and we do. Josh Norris. Not a bad name to have. Add that to the shadow box list. Unautoed, unfortunately, but still a cool card. And you shall be one touched. Okay. I mean, I really need it. Like, it would have to be a miracle to return Kel McCarr FWA to this house, but I know I'm with 18, 19 right now, but I'm saving it for last because I've got high hopes. And we're decoyed. This one was like extra thick though. Okay. I like this the this style of these cards. Mark Messier, Dylan Larkin, and Ricard Raquel Red Limited. Vincent Trocek and John Klinberg. Unfortunately the the hit was the limited. Ricard Raquel. And the rest bases. If you've ripped SPA, not S not SPX, but SPA, the feel of the cards are just awesome. The look of them, the basic. Come on, Kale. Just be in there. Just be there. Um, it's just I don't know. I, I really do just love SPA. They're just a little pricey right now. If the price drops, I do grab. I will grab some, but right now, we're decoyed. Yeah, it's not not worth the rip right now, with especially with a lot of stuff dropping. Um, rather just hold on and hope for the best with the new content. And... There goes our decoy and our hits in the back. So let's do this. Roman Yossi, Braden Shen, Drew Doughty, Oliver Bjorkstrand, and an update. Womp, womp. Ah, not a great way to end it. Not a great way to end it at all, but. Uh, we got a nice little shadow box. Artifact numbered rookie out of 99. Rainbow Mitch Mana, if you're into that sort of deal. I mean, I still remember when they blew a three goal lead in the garden against the Bees with seven minutes remaining. Oh, never forget it. Every time I pull a Leafs card, I, I can't help myself. Um, anyways, yeah, that was Boombox this week, um, or this month. 
it's just nice to open different things in my opinion so a little mail some boom box and I did fix my intro so I have copyright claims and I don't have to follow the guidelines on using other music so I changed it hope you like it though this is 5 old Frank out